A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. Here's the 0-1. Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back and gone! Three-run Bob, welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story. How do you like that? I've got goosebumps. Me too. Not gonna lie. Me too. Mom and dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow! Yasiel Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball toward short. Russell goes to Baez one, over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. The 2-0. Each row to right, and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall! 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third, and he's done it. He's climbed the mountain, a triple, and he has arrived at 3,000. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Tonight, it's the first of four between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. Stay tuned for Mets baseball coming up next. Noah Sindergaard, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan, any thoughts? Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release point, or he'll be more likely to miss up in the zone. Digging in, David Peralta. First at bat for him as he enters play number three in the National League batting race. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Darno has a play. He's got it one away. Time now to look at the Diamondbacks starting lineup. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, Matt, this is a very aggressive club. They steal a lot of bases. They're not at the top of the league, but man, they're right there. They're not far behind. They will run at every opportunity they get to try to force mistakes. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. As we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Here it comes on one and one. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. Batting third. First base Here's Paul Goldschmidt 44. now. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Skied into straightaway right. Cespedes is there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Diamondbacks down in order. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Patrick Corbin gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, last outing, solid outing. Gave him six full innings, but he took the loss. But if you give this club that kind of a quality outing, a lot of times you're going to walk away with a W. If he does that again this game, I think he's got a chance to win. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Ready to deliver the one and two. Line drive to center field. Pollock is right there, one down. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. What's the key for them tonight, Harold? 
Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Coming to the plate now, T.J. Rivera. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. The one and two pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Peralta is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting third, left fielder. Stepping up to the plate, Michael Conforto. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Striding in, Joannis Cespedes. He's a long ball threat, of course, currently number four in the National League home run race. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's 2 and 1. Well, Harold, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. You got to have a short term memory and you really do the game's over. You can't do anything about it. You got to come back today and play better and win a swing and a shot hit down the corner. Tomas is after it. And it in fact lands in the corner foul full count with two outs now so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere. He could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Again, he sends it out of play. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Hard hit to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. Throw won't get him. That's what happens when you put the ball in play. 3-2 count, you start the runner, puts the ball in play, now you're sitting first and third. Love it. Right. Into the box now, David Wright. Change up, good pitch there, one and two. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Yeah, Matt, Freddie might call a few strikes below the knees in this one, but he tends to get pretty good reviews. Players don't argue a whole lot. He's consistent. He almost never impacts the game in a negative way. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Shot fouled over towards the coaching box. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location, right down the middle, but he got away with it. Again, a 1-2. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Some people in the crowd don't like that, but believe me, he did not want to hit a guy in the first inning. We'll see if he can regain his control or if his control becomes an issue. Into the box, Travis Darno. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. On the ground, softly towards second. Brewery has it. On to first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Mets leave them loaded. Still no score.
So striding forward now, A.J. Pollock. He comes in with 16 home runs on the season so far. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Payoff pitch one more time. And another foul ball. Another full count pitch home. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often in this club. Digging in, Brendan Drury, currently ninth in the NL in hitting, entering play. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. Well, this ball's hit off the wall. He hit it awfully hard. Now, I thought it was a good move to that stop exact. because a lot of times you Very go, oh, basement. he's dogging it. Looked like Green. he was going pretty good, Blam. but I think they were going to throw him out. Good read to get back to first. In now, Jake Lamb on a gift of a swing there. It's three and two now. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The payoff pitch one more time. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. This one is launched. Look at this. Gone into the upper tank. A two run blast to straight away right field. Number 17 for him on the season. And Arizona moves out in front now, two to nothing. Well, that's why you hear people say work down in the zone. This is such a difficult pitch to hit. But if the ball's up a little bit, these great hitters, they touch it. It's going out of the ballpark. Right there is a prime example. Into the box gives money Tomas. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. The one and two pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot, but that if that was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him, he went right after him for the strikeout. And that'll bring up Oscar Hernandez. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They're on a nice little run, winners of four of their last five ball games. Yeah, Matt, I mean, nothing better than playing good baseball in front of the home crowd, and you're a four and one homestand. That's good baseball. They're executing. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. But the Diamondbacks pick up a couple courtesy of this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 2-0 Arizona. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. 
He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. This is exactly what you want to do when you've gone down by two runs. Answer the bell. So he leads off the next inning and gets them going with a double. Now if they can scratch a run or two across this inning, they'll be right back in this one. Here's Juan Ligares. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Here it comes on 3 and 0 oh, and he misses here for ball 4. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. The pitcher Noah Syndergaard steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation so let's see if that is indeed on right here. And they indeed want the pitcher to move his runners as he puts this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. All right, time for the majestic That's defensive North alignment North for North the D-back. And I'm looking at third baseman Jake Lamb. Now, they put him in the outfield every now and then, but he's primarily a third baseman. I think he surprised a lot of people coming out of the University of Washington. They didn't think he was going to have this kind of power. He's not only got power, he's got good range defensively as well. Riding in once again, Jose Reyes, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Three and one, here it is. Swing and a liner. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And the runner from third crosses the plate. The throw will go to third, and they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. Digging in to try it again. T.J. Rivera trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. The 2-1 pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more on this Monday night after this. Now at the plate, Patrick Corbin. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Here's the one and one pitch slider and that's hit on the ground towards second Reynolds comes up with it throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third so with one gone time for our look at the current standings as you can see these guys really have a comfortable lead in the division race to this point in the season. Standing in David Peralta 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. A 2 to 1 score here as we play inning number three. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. The batter, number Stepping four. in and ready for Short another shot. shot. Cattel Marte. Marte. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And there he goes towards second. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Ligaris. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here it comes on nothing and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Arizona that they're unable to add to their two to one lead.
with Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Throw on to first, in time, one away. Now batting. And with one away, nice we fielder. check out where these guys sit in the current division standings, not and it's not all that pretty as they face a sizable deficit at this point in the season. Now at the plate, Joanna Cespedes. One for one after a single this first time up. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Pollock on the run. He's got it, and there are two down now. Third baseman, number five. David Into the box now, David Wright. Wright. He was plunked with the pitch in his first trip to the plate. One and two, here it comes. And this is pulled hard, but foul. They brought their gloves for that one out there. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Tomas has it in his tracks. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. They're down 2-1. Digging in for his second at bat, A.J. Pollock comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone, see if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time, see if he chases it again. 0 oh, 2 is a fastball that misses inside, 1 and 2 now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Conforto on the move. And it, in fact, lands in the corner. Foul. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Here he comes again, one, two. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. But this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. Here's the one and one delivery. And that misses two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. Played on the backhand. In time to first, and there are two away. Jake Lamb standing in now. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Fourth inning of a two-to-one ball game. Right three called, and the inning is over. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They still lead it two to one.
Here's the catcher, Travis Darnot. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Outside, 2 and 1. Well, it's really raining hard here tonight. I, I tell you what, it is it is really going to have an impact on this game, too. I'm curious how it's going to affect the pitching more than anything else. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch to short. Marte gloves it. And a good throw gets him one gone. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Full count, here it comes. Lined hard to center field. And that's in for a base hit, his second in as many trips to the plate. Center fielder number Ready 12. for another chance. Juan Ligaris. Right. He drew a walk his first time up. Action now in the Arizona bullpen as they have a right-hander up and throwing. Need a base hit here. One and two. Here it comes. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. Reynolds rounds the corner and is headed home. Is in time and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. With two outs, I totally understand sending him there, but with only one out, you've got to be pretty positive about getting him home safely. Could have been first and third with one away, which is a whole lot better than what they're working with now. Standing in now, Noah Sindergaard. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Called strike two. One run, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Looped over toward first, and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. So, no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We played four full. It's the D backs two, and the Mets one. Now to the plate, Yasmani Tomas. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit in the air out to right. Cespit is on the move. He's around first, heading for two. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Oscar Hernandez. Stepping in now, Oscar Hernandez. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Rivera is over and he puts it away for the first down. The pitcher Stepping in, Patrick Corbin Patrick comes into Corbin. this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Zero. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of his secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Into the box, David Peralta. This is in the air out to right. We'll reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They lead it two to one. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. 
Two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Tomas moves over. One away. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Rury gloves it. Throw gets him. Two down. Now Stepping into the box, Michael, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One run, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Solo shot to right center. Number 17 for him on the season. And the Mets have come back to tie this one at two. Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up in the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Into the box now, Yoenis Cespedes. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. But the Mets are able to square things up on this solo home run. Five innings complete, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cattell Marte. Rain continues to fall here in the sixth. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. In there, a base hit. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll get there as the Diamondbacks get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go ahead run Great is on second. 44. A base hit away from coming oh, across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. Standing in now, Paul Goldschmidt. And he misses two and one. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And that's taken in near the line as the runner tags from second. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. And our builder, number 11, A.J. Striding in once again, A.J. Pollock. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And likely nothing up at third, but he'll step off and look him back anyway. And that'll be the fourth wide one, so put runners at the corners here with one man gone. Now batting. Second baseman. Brandon Drury Brandon will bat next. Drury. A hit in two tries so far. Woo! Runners are at the corners with one man out. What? And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. All right. No more hope and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Reynolds ranges back and he has it for route number two. Up next for the Diamondback. Digging in once again, Jake Lamb. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Lays off two and two now. It looks like fatigue's not going to be a factor for him. He's still popping the glove in the high 90s, and we're late in the game right now, Matt. 
And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Diamondbacks strand a pair. Home half of the sixth inning coming up. Deadlocked at two apiece. Ruby De La Rosa enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 12, Ruby De La Rosa. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Peralta moving to his left. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now Catcher. Ready for another Travis. chance. Travis oh, Darno. No. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And now a pitch on the way. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, 3 and 2. Matt Reynolds is on deck. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting, second baseman, Matt Reynolds. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. De La Rosa gets the sign. Here's the one and one. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. High in the air out to center field. Pollock has a read on it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Six innings complete, all square at two and two. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. All tied at two apiece as we get set to start the seventh, but before we do, let's have a look at our game summary through the first six. Here's Yasmani Tomas. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Cespedes is going back. Still ranging back. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year. And the Diamondbacks forge ahead. It's now three to two. You can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game, but up until this pitch, which was a big mistake, he was throwing a gem. Now he looks up at the scoreboard and he's trailing. That's demoralizing, but he's got to forget about it quickly. Stepping in now, Oscar Hernandez. As he lifts it in the air to right field, Cespedes is there, one away. Jeremy Hazelbaker will grab a bat hit for the pitcher here. Number 41, Jeremy Hazelbaker. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Conforto has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The right fielder, number six, 
David ready for Peralta. another shot now. David Peralta. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Fly ball out to right field. Moving under it, Cespedes, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, one for the Diamondbacks, for and it comes courtesy of the stretch. long ball. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's now 3 2 Arizona. Enrique Burgos gets the call from the pen Arizona. to take over on the mound Number and start 36, the home seventh. Enrique Burgos. Leading off the inning, Juan Ligares, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both a lefty and a righty up to throw. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Come on. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. So it's an inning opening single to kick off their half of the seventh. Well, they're starting to run out of time late in the game. That's a big leadoff hit. I know they're down one, but that starts the rally. Let's see how they manufacture the rest of this inning. Dribble Cabrera will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. As Dribble Cabrera. Get that runner in scoring position. This is pulled into right. Peralta is there and he has it for the out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in to try it again. Jose Reyes. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. That's a big fastball, obviously. And we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. On the ground is short. Could this be two? And they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. In now, T.J. Rivera, and he'll quickly send a line drive to center field, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Mets leave one. They trail three to two. A.J. Ramos has been summoned now, from the bullpen the as he'll Mets. do so to start the Number eighth. 44, a. A. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Well that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. In tight with the slider two and two. Seems like he's thrown everything at him the kitchen sink and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Now a reach and he takes a tumble here but hangs on for the first out. 
Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. Head to head against A.J. Ramos. Over five. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Grounded to right at third. Reined in. Throw on to first, two gone. Center fielder, number 11. A.J. Ready once again, A.J. Pollard. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Two out, nobody on. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. Diamondbacks down in order, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Evan Marshall is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 50, Evan Marshall. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Right down the shoot that time. One and two. Snuck that high hard one by him without a swing, but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. No problem here. One away. Now batting. Right fielder. Now in the box, Joanna Cespedes. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Well, that's a pitch right there. You've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Oh, that is too good a pitch to throw right there. Two strikes, a fastball right in this wheelhouse. He missed it. He probably won't get another one like that again. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at 2 and 2. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by. Well, hold on here. Well hit into deep left center, and I don't think this one's coming back. No sirree. This one is gone. A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. Number 28 on the season, and the Mets have come back to tie things at three. Yeah, he's been producing at the plate all year, so this should come as a surprise to nobody. But just because it's expected doesn't mean it's any less impressive. One swing, and we are tied. Into the box now, David Wright. Right over the middle, knee high. The 2 2 now to right. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. As long as you actually get it inside, that two seam fastball running towards the hands is a really good pitch. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. That ball was close right there. Whiz right by his ear. Now, Matt, they always say Catcher. Chuck and Duck. Well, that's an example of it right there. No. Into the box, Travis Darno hey. takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. A swing and it's popped in the air back behind first. Drury takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. The batter number 15. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. Matt. Two for three Reynolds. with a double on his line so far. Reynolds. 
grounded back up the middle. Backhanded. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. On to the ninth inning from City Field. We're tied now with three apiece. Brandon Drury will bat next. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. So the breaking ball okay. locked him up there. Brendan Rory becomes the first out in the ninth inning. In now, Jake Lamb. He went down on strikes last time up. Now the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. I like the high fastball 0 and 2. Now I know he's sitting 1 and 2, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at 1 and 2. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Stepping in now, gives money to Moss. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the one and two delivery. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Oh, Matt I think he thought he's going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. A swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts, not too shabby. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. J.J. Hoover is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Nick Ahmed will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Nick. Here's Juan Ligares. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Here it comes on one and one. Boy, good fight on the slider and it just missed inside. You know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead two and two count here it comes curveball that time not even close this is not the guy you want to walk right here look the eight hitter this could set up a big inning if he gets on hit hard on the ground at first fielded by Goldschmidt and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out now batting. The pitcher, A.J. Ramos. Your Brandon Nimmo will get the call Benching here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. He's fallen behind now, three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. So it was a swinging strike three. Brandon Nimmo becomes out number two in the bottom of the ninth. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Very weakly on the ground. Bases are empty here with two men out.
And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high three and two. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Boy really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pollard will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Down in order go the Mets. Still tied three to three. Jerry Scamilla takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Gregor Blanco is up off the bench to pinch hit here, so we'll see what he can do to begin the extra frame. Swing and a looper to left. Conforto moving in. But he's not going to get to it in time. So it's a good start to the inning for the Diamondbacks. Leadoff hitters aboard. Baseman, number 13. Now at the plate, Nick, Nick Ahmed, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The one and one pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. But a strong throw gets him at second, so the sacrifice does not pay off here. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Hey, that's a really difficult turn for a first baseman when you have to come. Get the ball, make a strong, accurate throw. So you need two good throws, not an easy double play to complete. Standing in now. David Peralta now a ball hit hard toward first and he'll break through with a solid knock here his first of the ball game and they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double and he needed extra well, innings to get four. it but there's Short his shot. first hit of the game and that'll keep the hit streak Mark alive and kicking well he had a lot of opportunities you knew eventually he was going to get a hit as hot as he's been but to extend that streak what a remarkable streak he is on. Into the box now, Cattell Marte, and he will look at a called third strike, and that go-ahead run has to stay right where it is at third with two away now. At the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much over four, but this is a great opportunity to make a man. Well, if your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. And ball four here on the intentional walk, so now they'll have a force at any base with two guns. Stepping into the box, A.J. Pollock. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Now the one and two pitch. Pitch is way outside and that's straight to the backstop. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two out, bases loaded. And this is fouled at the plate. Ready with another two strike offering. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. Gone. It's a grand slam. So one swing and he unloads the bases on that one. Number 17 for him on the season as it is now seven to three. And they complete the comeback with a flourish going deep with a grand slam to take the lead. You don't get style points in this game but I'd give them some if I could hand some out. Into the box, Brendan Drury. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Four runs here in this half inning. Hit back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as this side is retired. So it's four runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. 
So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. Diamondbacks lead this one 7-3. to three. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Randall Delgado, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. The fifth spot, number 48, Randall Delgado. Now playing second base. Chris Ionetta will come on as well as a part of a double switch, so we'll have a completely new battery here. Number eight, Chris Ionetta. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Here's the one and two. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Pollock patrolling center makes the play one out. Up next for the Mets. Sliding into the box. Michael Conforto. His previous meetings with Randall Delgado. One for five. Now the Diamondbacks get a left-hander up and working in the bullpen. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And flirting with danger on a changeup that missed high for a ball. Now here's the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's him for a base hit. He's two for four now. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the ship, and he just Off did not care. If you hit the ball right hard, fielder. I guess that's his philosophy. It was going to get through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the ship. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, late in the game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little test right here. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The 2-2 pitch. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. I'm not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, look at a man. One there. Oh, but he beats it out. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Last time through was a base hit. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. And he'll put this one away to end it. And the Diamondbacks have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it. But hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. The Arizona Diamondbacks get their 30th win on the road so far this season. J.J. Hoover wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Final line score for the ball game tonight for the victorious Diamondbacks. Seven runs, eight hits, no errors. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League.